Calipari hold on to his longtime job after losing to Oakland in Game 1 of the NCAA Tournament. WHS 11 Sports Director Ken Spencer is here with Calipari's first comments. And uh, Kent, did he sound like a coach losing his job? No, not at all. He definitely spoke with an eye to the future. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Hey, simple question. Is it time for John Calipari to leave? <laughs> hey, I appreciate you all pulling up to Towns Inn when we sit at the bar, have a drink, and just chop it up. Now, I, I want to be the first to tell you all, I am in no way, shape, or form a Kentucky fan. So they can lose every game from here on out, and it wouldn't bother me one bit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but outside of that, just... And all, all jokes aside, when it comes to Kentucky basketball, John Calipari, I mean, one of his recruiting, his main recruiting tactics is pretty much, you know, assuring people that if you come to that program, you have the highest chance or possibility to make it to the NBA, which is cool. I mean, we have the NBA. It's all, it's like, it's so many players that are, um that's in the NBA now, stars and stuff that has gone to Kentucky, right? But... What does that do for for the, the program, the Kentucky uh, men's basketball program? You can have all these one and done players, but all of a sudden you're losing in the first round. You're not putting up banners and you're just falling short year after year when it comes to like March Madness in the, in the tournament. At some point in time, people are going to be like, all right, cool. Yeah, we got all these NBA players, but like that that isn't doing anything for us at the moment. All right. We all here losing in the first round. We all here looking terrible. Like. People asking what's going on. Is it a coaching job? Is it just is it is it recruiting or is it the coaching job? Or does Calipari need to switch up some things? Because they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. But what are you, what are your results? What do you want your results to be? Do you you want your results to be all right? I got the most people in the NBA. Or you want your results to be like, yo, we winning out here. We building a program. So do you need to kind of like have a balance of we're going to get NBA players with NBA talent and then we're going to get um, players that's going to stay here and going to develop so we can have some sort of, um, you know, um, you know, seniors and, and juniors, right? We have that college experience to have both and kind of combine it. Or what are we going to do? Because... I don't know. I don't know if this guy going to move on or not. I'm, I'm seeing people. I'm hearing Kentucky people like, yo, he need to get up out of here. Like, it's nah, that that's not going to work anymore. I mean, it was cool at first, but like, now nah, losing too much is not a good thing. So, I'm not a Kentucky fan, like I said before, but what do you all think? Just as a just as a basketball fan, you doesn't, don't necessarily need to be a Kentucky fan, but do you think that he needs to get up out of there? Do you think and if he doesn't, do you think he would change his model? Like, how do you all feel about the situation? To me, now nah, he probably need to get up out of there. It might be a rap. <laughs> it just may be a rap. I don't know how people just change like that, but I don't know. I mean, he's been doing something for such a long time. It may need to be a new face in there, you know, a new voice in the locker room. I'm not sure. Um, but you all let me know what you all think. As always, I appreciate you all stopping by. Y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. All right. Peace.